For Ahmed Dawabsha, this was a normal day, inasmuch as any day is normal in the school that now bears his baby brother's name. Nearly two years into a recovery from burns that covered three quarters of his body, teachers say he's catching up nicely, strength and dexterity slowly returning to his writing hand. But his mother, father and brother, who all died in the attack he survived, are very present in his life and in his thoughts. He believes they're in heaven and that his mother went with his baby brother because he needed her more. Ahmed says he's a big boy and can rely on himself. In July 2015, Ahmed's house was firebombed. His baby brother Ali died in the attack, his mother and father later separately in hospital. Two Israeli settlers from a nearby illegal outpost are in custody, still on trial. The exceptional, horrific nature of what took place in this house has, of course, rendered unimaginable grief onto Ahmad and his family, but it's also raised a wider issue. To what extent is the Israeli government responsible for the actions of settlers who live in contravention of international law on the West Bank under Israeli protection? On Monday in Tel Aviv, Ahmad's family filed a suit demanding more than $4 million from the government. In the lawsuit, the family places the responsibility on the state of Israel for the terror attack that led to the burning to death <clears throat> of three of the Dawabshi family, the parents, Sa Saad and Riham, and infant Ali, and to the serious injury of Ahmed. The family doesn't call it compensation, rather an admission of responsibility. When Ahmed goes to take a shower, he looks at his body and asks, why is my body like that? What shall I do? Why did they do that to me? <laughs> Ahmed has received extensive medical care in a Tel Aviv hospital. The Israeli army referred him. The family isn't sure who will pay the final bill. Last week, the Israeli defense minister reportedly said Ahmed did not qualify for compensation as a terror victim as he's not an Israeli citizen or resident. The ministry didn't respond to Al Jazeera's request for a statement on Monday. Back home, Ahmed's decided it won't be a normal day after all. In the house he shares with his grandparents, he says a recent addition to the family deserves a birthday party. His grandfather, back from filing the lawsuit, presides over celebrations for a pigeon that Ahmed has just decided today to name after his mother. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Duma, in the occupied West Bank.